Hello, my fellow Spuds, and welcome back to another episode of Kenji. So, we are currently at Brink. The idea for this episode is that we are going to finish our trip. We are going to head over to Adnok, our original base. We're going to pick everyone up. We're then going to push on to our new outpost. We're going to collect everyone from there as well. And we are all, as one big, massive group, going to march up to Tengu, hand over the Oni Brothers, and Ryoshi is going to ask to be recognized once again as a lord and for their settlement to be recognized as part of the United Cities. That is the hope, that is the aim, but we still need to get there, we've got quite a long way to go. And on the way we're going to see if we can find any more legendary weapons. We've already got four, I don't know if we're going to find any more on the way, but we'll have a look in the bar, see if we can find anyone in any of the settlements on the way, and yeah, we'll just keep going. we finally completed our mission. We're finally back in the United Cities territory. We are spitting distance from Heng. In fact, we can probably just about see it from here. We can see Adnok from here. Uh, can't quite see Heng, but we are nearly there. Oh, I can almost taste it. The sandiness of the place. <laughs> right, we are back at Adnok. It took a while, but we are finally, finally here. Uh, we've dumped some of our stuff here, uh, just uh, to make sure. Sidebeep has made two AI calls, which is just nuts. Uh, no, Sidebeep, I want you to come off jobs for a minute. You need to meet Beep. Beep, meet Cyberbeep. We've been waiting for this for a long time. D do something. Any Anything at all. I was hoping they'd have some dialogue. They might not. Can we all just get out of it? I don't know if Debugger can even leave. It can get out. That's all make the long, slow journey across to Heng. I think it'd be nice. All of us together as one massive, massive group. Going off to Heng, having a lovely old time. Uh, it gets these guys out, out the outposts. They've been stuck here for months on end. We go for them to stretch their legs. I mean, Rusty's going outside for the first time in a long time. He's still a pup. How are you still a pup? The bugger's also still a pup. They're probably always a pup. It's a bit sad. I was hoping they would get a bit stronger, but it looks like they're stuck like that. As soon as Ryoshi met up with his outpost squad, they were ecstatic. The fact they'd managed to beat the Oni brothers was one thing, but that they'd all come back alive was what made them so elated. Ryoshi couldn't help but smile being back with them all. He'd missed them terribly. Now, they joined Ryoshi once again on his final journey to confront Tengu and complete Ryoshi's goal that he'd started so long ago. As Heng came into view, Ryoshi could hardly contain himself. He'd waited for this moment for so long, to finally be recognized by the United Cities as the noble that he was. He and his group had come so far, they'd built themselves up from nothing. Ryoshi, clawing his way out of the dirt, had created an outpost and a settlement from nothing. He'd created an ideal that had helped found his new family and enabled him to continue in seeking his revenge, but also trying to help his people through better armor, weapons, technology. They'd come a long way and he was at peace now or whatever happens next. Ooh, but just before anything else, a beast trader has arrived at our outpost. Hello, townie. Show me what you've got. Uh, you've got some pack beasts, bone dog, your pack bull, wild bull, a goat. <gasps> More swamp frogs. Yes. Right, this one can be called Chuck. Uh, this one, Daisy. <laughs> Welcome, my friends. There we go. Right, get in. Chuck and Daisy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Some more swamp frogs. Uh, Barry, what are you doing hiding there? Get out from there. <gasps> We've run out of food. No. What happened? Can they eat potatoes? You'd hope they can. Invalid container type. Oh no. Oh, well they can. Just not easily. Okay, we're gonna have to get some more meat. We've only got two. Luckily our main squad has a ton of meat. That'll be fine. Right, well let's go see if we can do some trading before we go. We can then go to the outpost and then we can all push on as a whole massive group. I mean that'd be great. The whole the whole gang all together for one last hurrah. Oh we get some farmers notebooks, very nice. And hive wood furniture. Hey, brilliant. Noble furniture, that'd be nice. Get that, get that. Basic furniture, we already know that. Buy those books, I guess. We should probably make a research bench at our new outpost, to be fair. Electronic components, we'll get some fabric. I guess that's pretty good. Right, and then 
We actually want to go to this place. Ruka as well. I give you permission to go here. I want you to get a better arm. Like, you need a good arm. You you sacrificed your arm. Everyone's now got much better limbs. Except for you. You have an awful limb. You uh, still have a skirt on left arm. I want you to have a decent arm. Skirt on specialist. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Wait, well, you have more HP. You'll be stronger than before. So you're not... Yeah, get that. There you go. That's It's not the best, but it's better than you had. There we go. You can't really complain about that. I will try and find your master at one at some point. Do not worry. Still no cabbages. Why does no one sell cabbages? We'll get some more fabric. And we'll get some books. And I reckon that will probably do. Cool. Right. Uh, Ryoshi, go me up with the others. And then we're going to all head off back to our little outpost. Hooray. As soon as Ryoshi spotted the wind turbines in the distance, he felt at peace. This truly was his new home. He couldn't wait to finally settle down, stop the looting, stop the killing, maybe start a new farm, decorate his house, ready to finally start the rest of his life. Ah, finally, finally, we're back. Cad, open the gates. Ryoshi's home. It's been so long since we've been here. Ryoshi was so happy to be back. It was nice seeing everyone get along. The people new to the outpost being introduced to the old... The new animals getting along with the originals. He was amazed to see how much the settlement had grown. The new buildings, the new farms, the new infrastructure. It had come a long way, and finally, it was starting to feel like a proper town. He was happy and content. There was only one more step before he could finally sit back and relax. He just needed to go to Tengu, and then he would be done. Okay, that's everyone. There's a lot of people. I need you to trade everything up that we do not need in here, please. And we should probably get these guys some actually semi deep Because, I mean, Beep, Infinite Wing Wang, Crumple John, and Crowface look a bit of a... Let's give Beep some proper samurai armor. There you go. Beep can be a Ronin. Congratulations. Crumple John, you want, you want that? And Crowface. What are we going to do about Crowface? Uh, Crowface, you know what? You can have that. It makes you look a little bit less weird. Oh, there's another samurai armor. Okay, you know what? Uh, Infinite Wing Wang, congratulations. You've got that now. I suppose... He could have some Impaler ones. Uh, green, give Glue back his armor. Right, give that one to Crowface. He he deserves some more Impaler armor. Does everyone does not everyone have Impaler armor then? <clears throat> no, because we swapped out uh, Rukas and Isaiahs, didn't we? Of course. Ryoshi, take all the food you can carry for everyone. Right, everyone, move out. We're moving out as a squad. Barry leading the way. <laughs> and then... That's set off to left. It's going to be a long, painful journey, but it's going to be cool. Oh, no, hang on. Everyone's, everyone stop. Tuck Fro, you've done so much for this colony. Get him some clothing. He deserves it. He's done so much. Infinite Wing Wang, you can donate your armor to him. You've come such a long way. You've done so much for this colony. Uh, it's your left leg that's busted, isn't it? Leon, give Tuck Fro that leg. Congratulations, Tuck Fro. You are finally... <laughs> it's 290 HP, his left leg. Uh, to win perspective, every other one of his limbs is 80. It's literally better than his other three limbs put together. He's got one beefy leg. It's literally... Look how thin his, his limbs are, and then it's just that. It's a boof. He can finally run 23 miles an hour. The fact that we found him lost and afraid, and we bought him in. Like, I can run, guys. I can run. Look at me. Amazing. The other thing is that we need to trade up some of these legendary weapons. I feel like uh, we haven't really dished them out well enough. Crankshaft obviously gets one. Crackman obviously gets one. Glue can have one. Dynasty's Revenge, I think that's that's good. Vigilante's just... I think, honestly, Ruka should have it. Ruka has not had a decent weapon this whole time. Uh, Jaglar can have that one. You get a luxury-looking weapon, which is quite nice. I think that's good. Ruka's kind of... She's had the dud dealer out of everything. She's had, like, the, the scraps given to her. She's still only got a cloth shirt, for God's sake. So she deserves to have this. Isaiah's already got that amazing pickaxe. Uh, so he's good. Ryoshi obviously still has his mate out katana. So he's good. If the rebel farmers attack us now, they are screwed. But there's not many of them. I'm pretty sure they're not stupid enough to attack us. There's only like six of them. They're not going to bother. Good. Let's push on. But we see Heft. 
the final point in our journey, the last thing on Ryoshi's list. The base is basically up and running. We have the start of grog production. We've got decent farms to feed our people, thousands of potatoes. We have buildings enough to house everyone. Yes, we're a little bit short on stuff now, but we will be able to house everyone soon. We're good. So that's go fulfill Ryoshi's destiny. Ryoshi presented himself in front of Tengu. Emperor Tengu, he said, I've come before you seeking an audience. Me and my team have fought valiantly against the Oni brothers and defeated them. I've worked my way from the ground up after my father was disgraced being indebted and our house destroyed. I have come to you with riches, with a team of valiant warriors and the two Oni brothers in chains, hoping that you'll be able to reinstate me as a lord and become officially part of the United Cities once again. Hmm. Tango paused, looking over Ryoshi's squad in front of him. The Oni brothers, you say, they have been a pain in our side, stealing some of our luxury weapons and causing mayhem amongst other nobles. If they are indeed who you say they are, then you have done me and the United Cities a great service. He paused for a moment. Fine, let it be done. Liplom, see to the proper arrangements. I'm going to bed. Ryoshi was astonished. He worked so hard to get here, to come so far. It was over just like that. No real appreciation from Tengu. Just a nod of the head, and he walked away. He couldn't quite believe that over the past few months of constant fighting, blood, sweat, and tears, it had all been for that man's approval, and he dismissed it like a clump of moldy bread. Just take the win, Isaiah said. We've come too far for anything else. Ryoshi agreed, and so it was done. Ryoshi had fought his way up to gain the respect of the United Cities, but it felt shallow at this point. It felt empty. But whatever the case, it was done. Ryoshi was sure it was due to something else. Tengu couldn't really be that cold-hearted, could he? That uncaring. Whatever the case, it didn't matter. They would hand the Oni brothers in, they would get their bounty, and Ryoshi could finally go back to his home and rest. God, there's <laughs> so many of us. Rusty, you're in the way. Get out the way, Rusty. Looks like you got a bounty. Want a reward, I suppose? Take him. It was 700 cap bonus. Nice. We got 120,000 cats. A little 700 cat bonus on top. Thank you very much. Uh, can we talk to him as well? We've got another one. Come back. Yes, 700 cat bonus. There we go. And another one. Excellent. 244,000 cats. I think we all deserve a drink. Don't you? After the good news from Tengu, the group felt a little lost. Their thanks from Tengu a little lackluster, but Ryoshi bought them all a drink from the earnings they'd gained from handing in the Oni Brothers. They all deserved it. After everything they'd all been through, they could do with just a sit down and a chance to get to know each other properly, for the first time in many cases. Ryoshi, on the other hand, was severely disappointed. His faith in Tengu and the United Cities, to a certain extent, was somewhat diminished. Could he really rely on this leader? Could he really rely on the United Cities to keep him and his people safe? While muddling these thoughts through his mind, Ryoshi came upon an interesting individual, someone called Turtle. He himself, a retired tech hunter, and as they exchanged their life stories, he told Ryoshi some interesting information about a potential ancient vault. He said that there were ruins on an island he saw on the coast, involving some weird cult worshipping a chunk of metal. But he refused to tell the location to Ryoshi unless he was allowed to join their cause and their group. So Ryoshi agreed. He needed more people to help out of the settlement anyway. Now that they were set up with plenty of farms and supplies, they could do with someone else, someone of Turtle's expertise. He said you need to go southeast from the city, see a chain of islands, and it's on one of those islands closest to the mainland. He said we've got to swim, but it'll be worth it. And so Ryoshi had added a number member to his team, and also, a chance to grab another legendary weapon. It wasn't even for Tengu anymore. It was for him and his people. Adding a fifth legendary weapon to their collection would mean better protection for his people and the defenses for his town. He just needed to go out there and find it now. And then he could finally put his feet up and rest for the first time in a long time. Right then, so 
we have Turtle added to our team. What are you actually like? You're pretty horrendous. I mean, I'm going to take you with us just so that, because you said that you can show us where this legendary vault is. Uh, Ryoshi, go with Turtle. We're going to take Crankshaft, obviously. Who else could we use? Well, Crowface, you wanted to better yourself. You go with them. And this will take a couple of people we haven't really taken for a while. Short Circuit, you go. And Crackman, you go. Just as so that we've got our extra protection. And that'll do. So, he said go southeast, and there's a bunch of islands, and it's the one closest to the mainland? Well, I guess we'll go to here for the time being, and we'll we'll figure it out. Everyone else, you're going to make the long, long journey back to our outpost. It's not actually that long. <laughs> you go make that journey. I'm going to change around the squads a little bit. You all just run together. You're quite a slow group, but I'm sure you'll do fine. Look how many people we've got now. <laughs> this is crazy. You all go to the outpost. I think what I might do is just start the process of transferring all our stuff from our actual outpost to our new base. Just because I feel like they could easily just all be in the same place. Like, I agree it's nice to have ad knock as like a spot, but at the same time, I think it would be good to have everyone kind of on one page. Right, so we've just arrived at the coast. It does look like there's something here. Ancient lab. Is that going to be it? They said the one closest to the mainland. Oh, what's that? There's something else over there. Howler's Maze. But no idea what that is. That's a massive island. I mean, that's cool, whatever that is. We're going to check that out. Sure, actually, let's go check that out first. And then we'll go over. I mean, it says it's the islands closest to the mainland. But which will be that one, surely. It doesn't look big enough to house an, an ancient lab. It might be that one thing over there. I mean, that is an ancient lab. But it's ancient vault, isn't it, with or after? I'm not sure. Uh, either way, it's probably either going to be that or this. Right, Howler's Maze. Uh, there is a lot of stuff here. I mean, is there much? Ooh, got tech notes. An ancient book. Well, there's a whole one. And the rest, oh, crab eggs. Okay, we've got a couple of ruined ones. We've got a couple of whole ones. Let's see if we can get in here. Something here. A bunch of crabs. Yeah, you know what? We're leaving. And shut the door. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Uh, there's a bunch of crabs inside, but all the crab eggs are outside. That's uh, quite funny. I'm just going to be full of crabs. Oh, it's empty again. Okay, really not that useful then. I guess it must be that over there. There is literally nothing else. So, tell you what, just start swimming. Yeah, this is weird. Right, so, Turtle said there was a bunch of cultists. I don't see any cultists. Cranked off. Let's try going in. Just see what you can find. Um, nothing. Nothing. No, there's literally nothing. What do you mean? Ancient lab, but there's nothing here. And so go southeast from the city, and you'll see a chain of islands. It's on one of the islands that's close to the close to the mainland, and most of the islands in the chain. It was not here. There's nothing here. Well, if you did want a base here, there's also around uranium. Um. I guess there's that. There's loads of iron, actually. This is weird. I don't know why you'd want to base it, but there's, I, I guess, there's stuff. I'm presuming this, these islands are modded in for the ancient vaults, but I just I can't see the one that's meant to have what we need. Yeah, I think Turtle might just be out of his mind. Oh, hang on. Ancient vault. <laughs> it's there. Um, That's not on a chain of islands. Oh, my God. Right. All of you get over there. Uh, they all actually moving, yeah. Crankshaft, you might have to just be the one to do this because the others are going to take an actual age to get there. Yeah, discovered strange vault. I can't believe that. It said a chain of islands, and it's literally... This is not on a chain of islands. This is on... Or I suppose you could take this as an island. Is that what it means? When it says chain of islands, it means, like, gut, coast, and the Forbidden Isle? Is that what it means? I don't count this as a... <laughs> These are little islands. <laughs> Got a load of sitting boxes. I'm presuming this is it. Crankshaft, I'm tempted just to send you in as you are. Take your backpack off and wail on them. I'm going to get Crankshaft to just smash this. Right, screw waiting around for everyone. They can't even get out the water they're taking so long. These guys are still not at land. They're still miles away. Fine, Crankshaft, you know what? You're taking your bag off and you're just stepping foot in here. This is definitely it. You know what? Come here. Just go to town. I mean, you just absolutely annihilated that spider. Go on, just go go to town. 
if you can actually get a hit in. I don't know if you can actually get a hit in at this. I don't think you can get a hit. Oh, he did. To the point that I think he's annihilating everything. There we go. Go on, Crankjaff. You can do this. Just solo this ancient vault for me. <laughs> oh. He's been, pushed out. he's been pushed outside. That's fine with me. Go on, attack all. Jesus Christ. He's, he's unstoppable. He's annihilating all of them. He's just down three in one. Oh, look at him. That was an amazing move. Uh, home base. What's going on? What is going on here? Vagrants. The, the gate. They, they broke the gate. Um, severed check left arm. Oh god, this isn't. This is not. Is anyone on the guns? Cad, get off the. Oh no, he's not on the guns. That's fine. Okay, good. Just get on them. Oh, that's quite a lot of lag. No, who's on the gun? Cad, get off the guns. Okay, I think we're fine. Oh, they broke my wall. Sad Neil, come out here. Repair that. Right. Anyway, back to crankshaft. We just soloed everything here you know what just take all of their skeleton repair kits he just solo that took barely any damage these poor skeletons time to take out this giant vault spider there we go just take that out and the last remaining skeleton he seems to be putting up a semi-decent fight but unfortunately it's not enough against crankshaft oh he actually blocked him though impressive enough Oh, but then you absolutely take off his arm. Uh, he's gone. He's super gone. Right. They're finally out of the sea. They're being chased by crabs. They're fine. Get to the vault. Crankshaft has dealt with the problem for you. Oh, there's a lot of crabs. Are we going to be okay? I mean, I could get Crackman on them. He would have a whale of a time doing that. You're not sure, actually. Go on, just... This, this is the fight we wanted to see. Crackwin versus the crabs. No, get them. Get 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 them all. Go on, Crackwin. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, what kind of bag do you have on? These backpacks small. Uh, you know what? We're going to take those out. And as long as I remember to pick it back up, I will drop that. Can you even get a hit? Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, and put it to 39% uh, plus animals. So that's... That's not Like, two hits and he'll basically kill everything in his path. The problem is he's already actually had mass amounts of damage done to his head. He's actually down. He was downed. Crankshaft's here. Oh, Crankshaft. No, Crankshaft, you just took on the vault. You can't and survived. You can't be downed by a bunch of crabs. Uh, where's the rest of them? The rest of the you should be on uh, passive. Just get in. You pick up Crankshaft's backpack so I don't forget. That'd be a disaster. Okay, Crankshaft is slowly taking them out. But he's down. Crankshaft is down. Downed to crabs. Oh, the poor guy. <laughs> you took about half of them out to your credit. Crackwind did a lot of damage to most of them, so he he gets an honorary mention. Right, Crankshaft's up. We're going to loot all of these for what it's worth, uh, just to get as much food as we can. There you go. Oh, look at that. Crankshaft fixing up Crackwind before anything else. Amazing. Right, actually go into the vault, though. That'd be great. Fix each other up in the vault. We'll get Crowface to try and upgrade his lock picking, try and appease himself. Right, Crowface managed to un get a Crescent Hammer. Can you unlock anything else? The problem is there's probably not much else you can actually unlock. You can unlock that one. You need lot picking up to like level 20, I think, to be able to have a chance at half this stuff. And sadly, I just don't think you're going to be up to it. An offset blade, not bad. Well, you can pick these weapon cabinets, we'll see. Uh, Spite Crusher. And last one. No, Crowface did redeem himself. 
Crimson Storm. Look at that. Saber class. A weapon that was forbidden from being used by the superstitious emperor of the time. As the master smith that forged it was said to be imbued with his pure hatred for the second empire's enemies. He said his hatred burned so hot one day that he fainted. And when he woke up two hours later, he found the blueprints for this weapon on his desk. And began forging it right away. Out of fear and superstition, the emperor forbid this weapon from being used. And the weapon was sealed away until it found its way into our hands by sheer luck. Or was it? Well, Crowface, you didn't have a weapon, but now you do. Crimson Storm. <laughs> oh. Actually, are you any good with save? No. No, you're you're awful. You're not really going to have that. But I'm going to get you to search the rest of this place and pick up any loot that we can find. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't look like Crowface can do much more here, unfortunately. He managed to get a ancient weapon. I can't complain too much. So I think job well done, Crowface. Ryoshi, I think you've got it from here. Ooh, Leviathan Slayer. Ooh, I feel like we should give that to Crankshaft. It's a really good weapon, but it's not actually effective against animals. That's bizarre. Um, oh, speaking of which, I do need to go... I forgot about Crackwin's backpack. Crackwin, you're going to have to go back and get your backpack. And... Oh, there you go. Lovely. And back to the others you go. Right, what have we got in here? <gasps> Industrial Lifter Arm Masterwork. Strength plus 23% arm oh, damage. I know exactly who I'm giving that to. Ruka, you're getting a good arm today, my friend. We have got you something that I think would make you very, very, very happy. Uh, we've got another Ronin Talons. I'll take it, I guess. And we've got Masterwork Assassin Rags. Uh, you've still only got standard grade uh, ninja rags. 1.3 stealth. What's this? 1.1 stealth. But it's better for other stuff. You know what? I'll take it anyway. Uh, that's kind of nuts. You're still only in standard gear. I'd never really thought about that. I and mean, you've got high grade, the rest of it, and specialist shirt. But you've still got shoddy shoes. From the Swamp Ninja. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miyoshi. We kind of uh, neglected to upgrade your gear, haven't we? I guess you haven't really been in combat that much. So I've never been that bothered by it. But yeah, we really should get you some decent stuff. You are meant to be the leader. And you look a bit of a scruff, sorry to say. Kopesh. Fine. And is there anything else that... Yeah, up here, there's a couple of things that Crowface couldn't get. Right, uh, I guess that's going to go in there. We've got a plank. What's in here, then? Ooh! A Masterwork Old Bow 1. Uh, who should have that? Who can carry that? Short Circuit. Uh, short Yes, yeah, Short Circuit. You come here. You grab these. So we've got a Jit, and we've got an Old World Bow. Awesome. And we got a Garu Chopper. Extremely good against Domesticator Leviathan, it says down there. That's bizarre. Yeah, damage against every animal, basically. Okay, I think we're that's pretty damn good. <laughs> We've got the next legendary weapon, and I don't know who should have it. Maybe Ryoshi should actually have it. He doesn't have a legendary weapon himself, does he? And he is absolutely god off with sabers, so maybe not. Zol is actually really good with sabers. I reckon Zol deserves one. He went through the ringer. He sacrificed his legs for the cause. Yeah, he deserves to have a legendary weapon, especially one he's going to be good with. And Jaglonger is also really... No, I think Jaglonger... Jaglonger's been with us longer, hasn't he? But I think Jaglonger deserves one. He's really good with sabers. I mean, Zol's got that, which is from the Oni Brother. I think that's deserved. But I think everyone who kind of deserves a good weapon has got one now. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Everyone run back then. We're going to run back to base, and we're going to have a lovely time. Are they literally... There's camp beds out here. It did say cultists, but there's just no cultists. Uh, we don't need to heal up anyway. No, you just run back. Run back, you'll be fine. I think that's pretty good. We've got five legendary weapons, and I think now we just need to work on the base, get that nice and done. And, uh, yeah, I think I can complete the series now. I think we've, we've done everything we set out to do. Ryoshi's got a good fighting force to defend the base. We've got a nice base. It will be furnished very soon and looking very nice. We've got plenty of people. We've got Redrick, who is like master armorsmith. We're technically a specialist armorsmith, but <laughs> he might as well be masterwork. He can do lots of masterwork stuff. Nutto, for example, is also a fairly good armorsmith because he's been on plate beating this whole time. So he's like, his, he's like Redrick's apprentice. And yeah, this is good. And as you can see, we are actually in the process of building all the workbenches and things we just need to build the research bench get that set up and then i think the base will be basically complete 
Well, I'll just crack on. Once we're back, I think we'll end the series there. Ryoshi looked upon the town, the one that he and his people had built from the ground up. It had been about a week since they'd returned from their long, epic quest, delivering the Oni brothers to Tengu. In that time, they had built a paradise here, truly an oasis in the desert. Everyone had a place here. Everyone was able to relax and do what they wanted to do best. All those who needed a bedroom now had somewhere to call their own, their own personal space away from the hustle and bustle of outside. In their own sanctuary, they could do what they wanted. They could play instruments, they could meditate, they could smoke, whatever they wanted to do best. It was truly a paradise. Everyone had a space, everyone had a home. Even the skeletons had somewhere relaxing where they could rest up, repair their injured parts, and even meditate if they so wished. A new state of the art lab meant that they could finally get into some of the more advanced technologies, the ones that had been lost for eons. They're on the brink of figuring out hydroponics, more advanced power, and automated technologies. Something that would bring their settlement to the height of the United City's settlements. However, with more people, more food was needed, and in that sense, more water as well. Water in the desert was a daily struggle, but by doubling their wells, they were able to just get enough water to hydrate all of their fields, allowing them to grow wheat, potatoes, cotton, and cactus. Everyone had somewhere where they could put their hair down and relax, something that the group had needed for a very long time. They even had their own rooftop bar, and whilst grog production was slow, the first few batches had started to come in. It would provide a steady profit for their settlement, as well as keep all the individuals happy. Ryoshi was finally at peace after all this time. He was able to enjoy the finer things in life, something he hadn't been able to do in a long time. Able to enjoy the finer things in life, but with the only brothers behind bars, their town prospering, and peace seemingly upon them. They were content. Ryoshi was happy that he and Fleabag had made it this far. From a nobleman's son at the far end of the world, they had managed to claw their way from nothing, repay his father's debt, make a name for himself amongst United Cities, make himself a new home, found a new town, have a steady supply of income from the crafting of armor, weapons, and grog. He had taken out all of his enemies, the Sand Ninja, the Bastards, the Oni Brothers. All of those who had stood against him had perished. And while his victory may have fallen flat with Tengu, he was just pleased to be able to settle down, remove his armor, and finally relax at peace for the first time in a long time. So thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the series. It's been incredibly fun to do. I didn't want to make it too epic, not like Knack and his team. And I hope I accomplished that. As you may be able to see, we have finally gained the same icon that most cities have. So we are officially recognized by the United Cities and the world as our own proper town slash city. So very, very, very pleased. We are now counted amongst the major towns in the world, a major powerhouse. And I think Ryoshi deserves it after everything he's been through, after what him and Fleabag have been through. They deserve a rest. They deserve to kick back, enjoy life, make the most of everything. On that note, guys, I'm going to leave it where we first started with Ryoshi and Fleabag. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you like Wisdom, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreons. Clint, David, Len, Valise, Laurie Lord, T Chaos, Toolman, Nacho Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Fawns, Skylar Burchell, Charles, Mint Salad, Lax, Brian, Mickey, David, Tyler, and Cordry Pierce. Cheers, guys. You guys are all just amazing. Thank you so much for all your support. It means a lot to me, so I can't thank you guys enough. So cheers guys, and I will see you in a future series. Bye bye.